I don't think you should keep the religion out because after all it is a phenomenon, a social phenomenon of enormous importance in the world. When I was in Oxford, I became involved in a project designed to produce teaching material on science and religion. And the idea was to try to help young people consider a range of options on specific problems so that they did not have to accept uncritically dogmatic statements made by polemicists and apologists, whether for religion or for atheism. And we got school teachers to write the material because we thought that it was very important that people should have had an experience of, of teaching. Uh, and we had all the materials we produced tested in schools to see how teachers and students reacted to the materials that were produced. We produced far too much material <laughs> is one thing one would have to say I think. Um, but th th those books, the material we produced, were produced by a team not just by individual textbook writers. And so everything that was written was scrutinised, looked at very carefully by a team. And I would say, in answer to your question, one step in dealing with this very difficult problem is to make sure that you have several minds working on this because you don't want dangerous eccentric views finding expression in, in a textbook, whether it's a religious studies textbook or a scientific textbook. But I don't think you should keep the religion out because after all it is a phenomenon, a social phenomenon of enormous importance in the world. Um, often dangerously so, often for great good. So that's not a direct answer to your question because I think it's, it's a very teasing question but I recognise it's a very serious one. So uh, thank you very much for the opportunity. Well, that's my very great pleasure.